What's up, everyone? Quick teach tape here to highlight a few details from Jameson Williams' stutter and go on Sunday. The most important part of the route for me is the fact that Williams attacks like he's trying to win on any type of hard-breaking route and finds the same body position he would as if he were breaking out of it. Uh, you could see here that it causes the corner to match that deceleration, which is essentially all we're looking for when working a stutter and go, um, especially when we're this close to our cover defender. Space is time in these situations, so that lack of space between us here is a lack of time for the corner to recover. Uh, if there was more space, you might see some guys kind of flash eyes, maybe maybe even stab to to the in-break uh, prior to accelerating vertical, but it's it's not really needed here due to the lack of space. The corner's reacting to our hip drop, so by the time he completes his deceleration, we should be exiting ours, which is uh, pretty much exactly what happens here. This now essentially is a race to the reception between the wide out and the corner. Williams is already accelerating forward while the corner is hardly completed decelerating from that initial drop. One detail I wanted to discuss was Williams' angle of departure out of the stutter. Rather than running straight on the line where he dropped, he exits what we refer to as a lane over. He goes from lane one to lane two on the track. This prevents the defender's ability to potentially collision Williams and disrupt the timing to the reception area, which is really the only way that DB can recover here. Um, it's important to hold that line now once we clear the corner, though. Williams then will reduce his shoulder slightly at the point of contact prior to holding his line vertically. Uh, exceptional job by Williams here. Lions offense has been really a favorite to watch since the start of last season.